The second edition of the Northeast Festival began at the Central Grand Hotel in Bangkok. The three-day festival started on Friday with 150 Thai tour operators interacting with Northeast India's tourism stakeholders. Today's inaugural program saw colorful cultural presentations from Northeastern states. Speaking at the inaugural program, Thailand's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Commerce, Jurin Laksanawisi, said there are many cultural similarities between Northeast India and Thailand. He said with the project of trilateral highway between India, Myanmar and Thailand will help in tourism and trade between the three countries and the potential of Northeast India will be enhanced. He also informed that he has plans to arrange many mini FTAs with Maharashtra, Kerala, Karnataka, Gujarat, Assam. Laksana Visit Food Express confident that the fest will increase trade opportunities between the two countries. Kong. In fact, there is another festival which is called Bohapihu in Assam, which is similar to Sokta in Thailand. ในนามของตัวแทนรัฐบาลไทยและประชาชนชาวไทยผมขอโทษการนี้ขอบคุณรัฐบาลกลางของอินเดียและก็รัฐบาลของรัฐภาคตะวันออกเฉียงเหนือ
two and three hours flight to Delhi. But to travel to one another states, it is very difficult. And many years together, we don't used to visit one another. So I think this is giving a very good platform to all of us. And as Sian Magalaya has said, this should be a platform. As Government of India also created North Eastern Council and Northern Ministry created together for us. And therefore, we should form a stronger team and work together. If we look at the states, we are small states. But if we put our potentials, our strength together, I think we are big and we will be visible. And we can do big things and then we can go together. As far as Nagaland is concerned, as many of my Northeastern states know, but many people from the two operators and other uh, people from mainland who have come here from India and also in Thailand. You may not know much about my state, Nagaland. So I'd like to highlight a few things about the state of Nagaland. We are going 59 years of statehood, yet we are lagging behind and wanting in many sectors, including infrastructures. Nagas are divided and Nagas are living in Assam state, Arunachal state, Manipur state, and in Nagaland. So, Northeast is like a place for Nagas everywhere. We do our studies in all other states also. Therefore, for Nagas, we belong to all the Northeastern states. This is what I see. Beyond that, Nagas are also cut off into Myanmar and they are recognized and run a self-autonomous zone government. During 2010 and 2015, in Myanmar, after Junta had agreed for democracy, election was conducted and then I was chief minister. So I have toured extensively Myanmar territories, including Sagai Division, where the Naga community lives. And they also had elected their MLAs and also the MPs. And they have self, Naga self-autonomous government. In this, Nagas also are recognized and they have four elected representatives in the Myanmar government. And when I look at that, Nagas are not a small group of people, but I would say one of the largest group, but we have been divided and that's how the Naga issue of uh, insurgency but finally wanting to be integrated. And therefore, my neighboring Northeast, I need all the support for our coexistence and to live in oneness. You are aware, as Arunachal has stated, Nagaland is also known as land of festivals. You have the virgin forest extending to Zuku Valley, uh, to Manipur. And so these are vast cover of uh, the virgin forest and the grassy lowland, beautiful valley, the stream flowing. Many people go for trekking, spend nights together and Voice of External Affairs and Education, Raj Kumar Ranjan Singh said North East India is the gateway to Thailand and other South East Asian countries.
The Northeast Indian states are rich in natural resources and minerals and forest wealth and unparalleled scenic beauty. The government of India and state governments have taken transformative measures for holistic development. Three C's applied commerce, culture and connectivity define the future efforts and cooperation between Thailand and India, he said. It's also being held in Bangkok. I am also take this opportunity to congratulate all of us as we were, are celebrating 75th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Thailand this year. India is also celebrating the 75 years of independence as Azadika Amrit Mao India and Thailand are maritime neighbors with historical, cultural, and spiritual ties dating back to thousands of years. And important destinations or important dimension of our relationship has been the people-to-people -people contact. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sama said connecting entrepreneurs, students, cultures, musicians and youth is important and added that more such programs should be pushed. He urged the organizers to follow up with Thailand and make sure that the connection continues. We had to come through different cities. Some of us came through Kolkata, some of us came through Delhi. And uh, you suddenly realize that uh, Bangkok actually is much closer than going all around and uh, coming to Bangkok after traveling to another city and then having to come here. And uh, I was just speaking to uh, uh, one of our officials who is the permanent secretary to the Ministry of Commerce, uh, Mr. Ji. And he was mentioning to me that uh, he has been to India many times. And this is when you realize that uh, there is something missing. And there is something that needs to be done regarding this entire opportunity that exists for us, which we should take forward. Uh, as we all know that uh, the entire Northeast, in fact, is uh, geographically much closer to a large number of other uh, nations and the capital is closer than our own capital. The capitals of other nations are closer to us geographically. And hence, uh, this kind of a geographic uh, advantage and more importantly, the cultural background, background that we have and uh, the uh, religious uh, also aspects that are there, I think these are areas of connections which we need to explore and uh, I hope that uh, programs like these will allow us to do that in the coming uh, days and uh, years and having the political will to make it happen. And uh, I think uh, that's the starting point for a lot of uh, you know, important things like these to happen. And today the fact that we have the ministers from the government of India, we have the chief ministers, deputy chief ministers, we have ministers from different state governments. I think it's a clear reflection of the political will that is there today to really take this idea and this entire thing forward. And obviously behind all of this we have our honorable prime minister who has given so much importance to the Northeast and has stressed on the fact that Northeast must be uh, brought to the limelight. The opportunities that are there in the Northeast must be uh, you know, taken and uh, we should be able to unlock all the possibilities that are there in the Northeast. This is all for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.